guys, this is Israel with SCS Parts. You can visit our website at stsparts.us. You can also check our YouTube channel, STS Parts. Today, I'm gonna show you the glass splitter. This is a heavy duty machine that we have. This is the one that we actually use at our shops. And uh, that's where you'll see a few things that we have labeled. However, we have these also ready to ship. They are in stock and uh, they ship within 24 hours. They come with one year warranty. And um, let me show you how it works. This guy has a few controllers. The main one is the power switch. Then you will have a direction switch, which uh, will say where that um, the wire is going to be fitting through. You can lift this when you're setting it up. And if we go to the top, you see that it's fitting this side right here. But when we do that one, it will be fitting the other side. Basically, it, you're telling the motor what direction it's spinning. Right here, it's uh, just setting up the time where, uh, where your motor is going to be switching back and forth when we turn it on to a semi-automatic function. Here you have the temperature controller. We have set it up at 70 degrees. That's usually the temperature that we use to split our screens. And then here, it's basically your on and off switch when you're working with um, glass splitting. This is an emergency stop. So if we turn it on and for some reason you have to stop, you can click that and uh, turn it off. And then if you turn this to the right, it will pop up. You're ready to go again. Um, on the side, I'm going to turn this a little bit. You will see that it's got a pump. So this machine, you don't need any compressor outside of it. It's got a vacuum pump built into it. So when we click that, it's uh, ready to start um, creating that vacuum um, seal that you need in order to split the glass. And then on the other side, it has a control for your motor, um, how fast you want it to be, and it also has a switch for it. So if you were to turn this off and you want it to go to any direction, it will not spin. So you have to have this on in order for that motor to work. And then you can set the speed at your convenience. We do have a few settings depending on the screens we're working on. We're happy to share that with you. If you have any questions, as I said, please post your comment below or just contact us. And um, I'm going to go ahead and split an iPhone 5 series uh, so you can see how this works. This machine is uh, 110, so you also don't need any 220 outlet. You don't need any converter, transformer. Uh, it's ready to plug in and go. The first thing that you'll notice is you'll have a silicon pad on it. This will allow us to create a better seal between the screen and that hot plate, and uh, we'll be able to keep that screen locked through the process. Um, I also forgot to mention that we have these um, levels, and then basically uh, we also have a few settings for them depending on what we're splitting. So if we were to split a, an iPhone 4 um, that we only need the glass or an iPhone 4 that we also need to remove the touch panel, we have different heights for it. So first things, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the silicone pad holes are matched to the holes for that vacuum pump on the hot plate. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on that pump, make sure that my screen is completely sealed and I cannot move it. The next thing, I'm going to go ahead and lift that wire. And I want to go right under that LCD. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just wait a few seconds here for that screen to start getting hot. And um, what you want to do is you, you want to create pressure towards the bottom so you're going right against that glass instead of your LCD and uh, have more opportunity for you to scratch that polarizer. This splitting process is very important. The better you get doing this, um, your cleaning process, and um, it's going to be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just making sure that it is, my wire is placed correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I just started pushing. Um, you don't want to push too fast where you will create a lot of tension on that wire and then have it snap. So basically you want to push and then kind of wait on it, push and wait on it. If you've seen how we've split uh, glass 
manually, then you can definitely tell the difference um, how fast it goes and how easy it is. You can split a couple hundred of screens and your hands will not be sore. You will not have to be dealing with that wire getting uh, tangled up or breaking so often. This uh, wire will definitely break and um, will help you with instructions on how to replace it. But um, again, it's a lot easier. We can um, split more glasses with this machine without replacing the wire compared to the manual process. As you can see right here, I stopped about right there um, just to leave enough space to not go through the flexes. I do not want to go ahead and get over the flexes and break them. So once you're there, what we usually do is we'll go ahead and stop this and we will leave that pump on. And uh, well, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get it off closer to me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. You wanna leave that pump on and what you wanna do is go ahead and turn that LCD to the side. You do not wanna lift it because sometimes if there's enough glue, you will crack your LCD. So you just wanna go ahead and turn it to one side. So as you can see, sometimes you will have some glass and um, we have some plastic blades that we use to get those off. We also have some plastic spudgers that you can look on our website. They're really handy. It's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and turn the pump so I can remove this glass and show you what it looks like. Again, a lot faster than doing it manually. Let me go ahead and see if I can find a plastic blade. All right, so this is one of the plastic blades that we would use. Um, what you want to do is basically just kind of go over the screen, make sure that it's flat. You do not want to have it on your hand, ideally. We always ask um, our techs to have it on a flat surface. Um, again, this is not the ideal setup, but I want to show you how we do it. So I'm going to take this off. Put that down, make sure it's flat, and then basically just get this off while that glue is soft. That is it. Next step will be cleaning up your LCD. Um, if you would like to see that video, please comment below. We're happy to make one for you. Hey guys, so I just showed you how this machine operates. We do have a cheaper version of the same machine. Materials change a little um, bit. However, functionality is basically the same. We have the same controls over and the pump turns on right here instead of on the side. You can check both of, both of these on our website. They're both 110 volts. Price is the only difference on top of the materials and size. We have these ready to ship. They ship within 24 hours. We have them in stock. Um, they come with one year warranty. If you have any questions about these, please visit our website, give us a call or leave your comment below. Thank you so much for watching, SESparts.us.